uh, we decided to to start the Fumiu project mostly because one, it really fitted our international strategy, and two, because we saw that European universities uh, that back then were a new, completely new EU-funded project uh, were a tremendously interesting opportunity to foster collaboration and networking across European space. Those were the two main reasons. Yes, just imagine, we are, this is Portugal, this is uh, uh, our university inside the country, and if you had one, more, two, three, four, five like this, your level of competitiveness goes much higher. So I would say that the, the main added value of such a project is that it allows institutions, not only us, any higher education institution, to gain competitiveness in, in, in international terms, while at the same time to develop itself, because collaborations are all about knowledge sharing, but it's also all about the new competencies you incorporate in your own institution and also about how you learn to better understand what's out there instead of taking a more, let's say, uh, ex kind of, uh, uh, expecting the future without moving. So when you take a step like this one, it's a risky movement, but what you gain is much higher than those risks. When we introduced this topic in the, in the program of the summit, we had a very clear idea in our minds. This topic is right now at the center of the European Union agenda for a post-COVID recovery. Basically, that includes the setup of a new kick, the so-called knowledge and innovation communities in the field of the cultural and creative industries. The call will close in March 2022. The introduction in Pillar 2 of Horizon Europe of a special uh, uh, component on the cultural and creative industries and a tremendous focus on the cultural sector in terms of the so-called resilience funds at national levels. So there's this top-down orientation that the cultural and creative industries can have a role in the post-COVID-19 uh, world. At the same time, we know that large parts, large sectors of these industries were tremendously affected by the crisis. Theatres were closed, as an example. At, so that means that bottom-up, there is a need to reinforce the ability of these sectors to cope with uh, not only the consequences of the pandemic, but also the opportunities that are opened by this top-down approach that includes a lot of funding for these industries. So basically, what we are trying to do with this summit is to summarize the challenges out there, but also to talk a little bit about the opportunities and entails. I think that without students we are nothing, because in the end the students are what justifies our existence. So I think that in all activities we develop, we will develop in the future in FUMU, but in all activities in our own schools we need to have the, stand the students at the centre of those activities. And that means not only bringing the students to the activities, not only designing the, the activities having the students in mind, but also to consider the expectations and the outcomes of those activities for the students when we evaluate those activities and we then build on that and introduce that in our quality assurance policies in order to improve what we are doing. There are three things that I think are core in terms of what we can bring to the program but also in core of what we can gain from the program. The first one is the university was built and uh, the university mission as at its centre, internationalization, namely the relation with the Portuguese-speaking countries. I think we can bring uh, our understanding of that part of the world and our ability to reach uh, those different countries and those different regions as something that differentiates FUMIU from other uh, European universities currently being, being developed. The second thing I think we can bring to the table is our ability to link education with research. We have a long history of uh, attaching what we do in the film department with what is done at the level of the School of Communication and Arts in terms of research, where for many years we've had uh, a research unit which is quite large in national context and that has been funded and accredited by the National Foundation. In the last competition for funding uh, a couple of months ago, this research unit uh, obtained 75% of the, the funding, the overall funding in the country for the entire field. 
I think that tells a lot about how competitive we are uh, in terms of acquiring research funding, which is core. Let's not, we can, we can have a, a, a lot of interest in these courses, but in the end, if you are not able to attract funding, you won't be able to develop and do what you want to do. And third thing we can bring to the table, our ability and our agility in developing projects that are innovative. So we have a very strong track record of doing training and research projects of a short dimension, of a large dimension, involving lots of collaborations with the industry, with uh, uh, other academic partners. And that has helped us in understanding what's the knowledge triangle. So I think we can bring to FMEU our understanding of the knowledge triangle, the relation between research, education and business, and how that can be, and we hope it will be, at the center of future universities uh, like FMEU wants to be. Yeah, uh, a key lesson. FUMIU was designed from what I would call a disciplinary point of view. So we are looking at setting up this uh, uh, university from the lenses of film education. I think that what we heard during the last few days has highlighted how important interdisciplinarity will be in the future and how we need, there was all this discussion around the STEM agenda and putting the A in STEM and changing STEM into STEAM and uh, how we can learn from business schools that are also looking at the, the film industry. I think that that call for us to open to other fields, to collaborate, to design new programs and new activities that bring those partners on board was for me one of the main uh, uh, lessons uh, I would take out of this event as something that we have to have on the top of our agenda for the future.